Okay, so this is story time. Cass and Gigi are in the background. Gigi! Gigi! <laughs> They're in the background making stuff, barbecue and stuff. Um, but I'm here to tell you the adventures of Douchelick. <laughs> um, for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna call him Douchelick. <laughs> um, okay. I feel like story time. Like, I need to, like, sit. <laughs> I have an audience. Okay, so. Where do I start? Um, I found him on Tinder, so of course he was gonna be a douche. But, um, <laughs> like, I don't know, he was like, he was good looking, but his profile seemed like he was fun, because like his photos, he wasn't there, you know, mirror selfieing. It was him, you know, making funny faces and stuff. So I thought it'd be a fun person. Um, we made plans to watch Terminator, because when I first asked him about it, I was like, do you like Terminator? And he was like, fuck yeah. So I was pretty excited to watch Terminator. And we arranged for today, we were gonna watch it at 3.15 and gonna meet up at like 2.30. And then I leave the house. No, no, I'm, I'm getting ready to go. And then he's he mentions that it's hard for him to type because his texts were all fucked up. And he says it's hard to type with one hand. And I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, I'm mixing pre-workout. And this is an hour before we meeting up. And I'm like, you're going to the gym. <laughs> I was like, you're going to the gym now. I was like, are you gonna be ready in time? He's like, yeah, I'll be fine. And I was like, he's, he's not gonna be on time. And oh so I'm leaving to be on time. And he sends me a text while I'm on the train. And he was like, uh, so what time are we meeting again? And I'm like, 2.30. <laughs> he's like, oh, not 3.30? And I'm like, the movie is at 3.15. And he was like, which movie? And I'm like, Terminator. And he was like, oh, fuck that movie. <laughs> what? What? Excuse me? <laughs> um, I mean, so I just sent a text like, what? Like, no H. So it, it's the, what? <laughs> and he was like, don't you just meet up for a bite instead? And I'm like... At this point, if I had been at home, I would have been like, okay, just fuck you. But like, I'd already left, I'd, bleh, already left the house, and I was like, on the train. And I'm like, well, fuck. Like, I feel like I should just meet up with him anyway. So we make plans to meet for food at some other mall, so I have to get off the train, get on another train, and go in the opposite direction. And I've never been to this mall before, and I have no idea where the fuck I am, and he's like, oh, I'll be fast in my workout, and of course, there's, I'm still waiting for like half an hour, but at least I spent the half an hour trying to find Tim Hortons, because <laughs> I had no idea where it was. Um, so finally, I find the place where we're supposed to meet up. He's like, oh, I just finished my workout, just finished the shower, I'm gonna be there in 10 minutes. 15 minutes later, I'm still waiting, and I'm like texting Adriana, and she's just like fucking break his legs and stuff like that. So I'm just like giggling in my little corner of Tim Hortons because I'm already fucking over this guy at this point. I'm like such a douche. And then he walks in the door, and some other dude like greets him like he's there to meet that guy. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> and I'm just like, uh. <laughs> And he was like, oh, hey, sorry, just give me a minute, I have to go buy a computer. And then he sits down with this dude and, like, starts looking at this guy's laptop. And I'm just like... <laughs> oh my god, I can just imagine it fucking face. <laughs> I was just, like, laughing in the corner because it was so, like, dumb. And then finally, he buys this guy's laptop. And then... He's like, oh, I'm gonna put this in my car. And I'm like, okay. He's like, do you wanna come? I'm like, okay. So we go to his car and drop off his shit. And then we go to the food court to try and get food. And he's just like bitching about everything because none of it's healthy enough because he's trying to get lean because he's super into fitness or some shit, even though he's just not very buff at all. Uh, <laughs> and so I end up getting small fries, because that's all that was vegan, and, which he didn't know, like, my fucking Tinder bio says that I'm a musician, it says that I'm, like, everything, it says that I'm vegan and I don't drink or smoke or anything, and he was like, oh, so what do you normally eat? And I'm like, well, I'm vegan. He was like, oh, really? I'm just like, you didn't read my bio, did you? And he's like, well, no, I just thought you were attractive, so I swiped right. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Um, so I get fries, he gets a salad, which he complains about, 
because they put olives in it, even though on the menu it said it had olives. And he complains about them putting cheese on it, even though the menu said it had cheese. <laughs> and then he complained about the sauce. And he's like, does this look like red wine vinaigrette to you? And I'm like, do I look like the master of sauces? I don't fucking know. And then, sauce, <laughs> then he puts on the salad and he's just like bitching about the salad. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. What the fuck? What? Fucking backpack! What are you looking for? It's oh. in your room. Oh. Ass. <laughs> So then, after eating, oh god, while we're eating, he's like talking about fitness and why he's eating so strictly, and he's talking about the body type that he wants for summer, so he looks good with his shirt off, and, and then, and then after this he proceeds to be like, yeah, but I don't feel like women should be like that, because I think he was trying to make me feel better, and be like, yeah, I don't like women with that, you know, over fitness body type to try and make me feel better, but I'm just kind of like, dude. Don't make a girl feel better by bitching about other girls. Like, what the fuck? And he was like, you know, I don't like it when women are, like, too athletic. You know? It's just kind of gross. And I'm like, you're kind of gross. <laughs> and then, after this, he's like, oh, yeah, let's go, like, we'll go to sport check or something. Just, like, look at fitness things. And I'm like, what? Excuse me? <laughs> so, on the way there, we passed one of those phone kiosk things. He's like, oh, I just want to check out some of these phones. And at this point, I'm like, okay, he's just here to run some errands. And he just brought me to try to get his dick wet, which isn't happening. <laughs> um, so we go to this phone kiosk thing, because he hates his phone and he wants a new phone. And he's looking at all these phones, but he has a problem with every single one of them. And the guy talking to us about the phones was Indian, so he had an accent, and then he mentioned that one of the phones was called an idol, but in his accent he was like, oh, it's an idol. And then this fucking douche lick, every single time he says idol, he has to do it in that accent to, like, make fun of the Indian guy. And, like, he just kept on doing it to try and make me laugh, and I'm like, what the fuck? That's not, not funny, laughing. you're a fucking douche. And eventually he leaves the phone kiosk without a phone, because he wasn't happy with anything. We get to sport check, because he needs to buy fucking lifting gloves. I was like, you use lifting gloves? He was like, well, yeah, I don't want to get calluses. And he was like, you should get like little pink lifting gloves. <laughs> <laughs> like, bitch. I was like, uh, I actually said, yeah, I'm not a little bitch. I don't need gloves. <laughs> And then he laughed, like it was a joke, and I'm like, no, I'm not a little bitch. I don't need lifting gloves. I like my calluses, thank you very much. So he goes there to look at gloves. He's just walking through, making really douchey commentary about everything. He picks up a pair of like board shorts, and he's like, oh, can you imagine me wearing this? And I'm like, what do you normally wear, is that? Gross, is that funny? I don't I don't get it. And he's like, are these like briefs or like board shorts? I'm like, I don't fucking know. And then we pass by this rack of punching bags, and above each punching bag is a sign that says, do not punch the punching bags. And he starts punching the punching bags, and I just kind of point at the sign and I'm like, it says don't punch the punching bags. And then one of them falls over and completely knocks over this other fucking thing and it makes a big noise. And I, I just looked at him and I was like, can you read? <laughs> and then he was like, it said punching bag, not the mannequin, because it was one of those punching mannequins. And so he bends over to like pick all that shit up and I just walk away. He continues through sport check, just making really douchey commentary about everything. Finally, he finds his stupid fucking lifting gloves, and then he's like, oh, what the fuck, they're $25. And then he puts one on, he's like, they're not even nice. And then I was just like, well, don't get them. So we leave sport check after he, he's done not buying things, and he's like, oh, yeah, I know what I need to do. I need to go to Walmart and buy some meat. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm gonna pass. <laughs> So, we go to Walmart, he gets his fucking shit, and as he's walking to the checkout, he starts overhead shoulder pressing his stuff. Like, working out with his meat. <laughs> and I'm just like, what the 
fuck is this guy doing? And he starts being like, yeah, because I'm cutting right now. Like, because I made a joke about how I'm bulking, which means pretty much I'm just lifting shit and eating whatever the fuck I want. He was like, yeah, you know, people sometimes think that you can cut and bulk at the same time, but like, you really can't. And I'm like, well, it depends on genetics. Some people just don't ever have to cut. And he's like, yeah, I'm cutting right now. But I mean, like, I guess you can cut and bulk at the same time, but you have to be really strict about your macros. And he starts going on and on as if he thinks I don't know. And so I just look at him and I'm like, dude, I know. I was married to a bodybuilder. And then he sh finally shuts the fuck up. And he's you like, that? yeah, I was like, I was married to a bodybuilder. Like, I know. Don't fucking talk to me. Like, I don't know. You about told me you were shit. married? Yeah. They're like, space. I don't give a shit. And so he finally shuts the fuck up. Oh my god. And then, what happened after fucking Walmart? Oh, he forgets his cinnamon. Because I happened to mention that cinnamon boosts the metabolism because he's like laughing at some magazine because it says you can lose weight by eating spices. And so we go to fucking Safeway to get cinnamon and he finally buys his cinnamon and his vitamin water because it's one of his vices. And eventually we get to his car and I'm like, well, finally this thing is over. And he's like, oh, do you need a ride back to New West? And I'm like, I'll take the train. And he was like, well, it, it was it was fun hanging out, we should do it again. And I just laughed at him, and I was like, bye. <laughs> so that was it? That, that, was... that was it. It was literally him just making douchey commentary about everything. Fuck. Hang on, we have bad news here. What? <sighs> what are you looking for? Steak spice. What? <laughs> I don't think she cares. Steak, steak spikes? Steak, steak spice. The fuck? Oh, oh! Just rub it on your vagina. <laughs> Spicy! <laughs> oh so that's God, that's the so adventures of Duke Lake. I, I, know, I, I think this. that's it. And I still haven't watched Terminator. <laughs> Fuck! What are you gonna do? I'm gonna finger your butt. Have a bloody meltdown!